As far as the throw, we go to Joel Siegel for something very, very special. Thank you, Storm. We are celebrating a very special day at Eyewitness News. In fact, Roger and Bill think I'm covering another story. The actual date was last Friday, but because one of the celebrants was in Ireland, we've waited till today for the party and the surprise. It was September 28, 1970, that Roger Grimsby and Bill Butel first anchored Eyewitness News together. They made television history, and now in their 10th year together, they're making it still. And Bill Butel, one, you're now with Bill Butel. Thank you, Bill. Good evening, everyone. Mankind. No longer would New York tune to the news out of a sense of obligation. Watching the news, eyewitness news, became an event in itself. The audience grew. People by the millions became avid news watchers. And as the audience grew, so did news staffs and news budgets and the quality of news coverage. The news team concept was created with space for sports specialists, weathermen and science reporters, investigative reporters, and movie reviewers. So all of us at Channel 7 are grateful to Roger and Bill. And to show our gratitude, as they begin their 10th year as the undisputed leading anchor team in television, I've been asked to give you a rare tour through the Roger Grimsby Bill Butel family album. Oh, we know the usual story. Roger Grimsby growing up in Minnesota, a minister's son, serving his country and coming to New York by way of San Francisco, where he was anchorman and news director. And Bill Butel, a Dartmouth grad who came to New York from Cleveland, who was in London and Vietnam for ABC before he and Roger teamed up together. I'll be back with the rest of Oh, that's the usual story. But according to some photographs I've just found, that's not even half of the real story of Roger Grimsby and Bill Butel. <laughs> Roger Grimsby, as this old family photo shows, was born on New York's Lower East Side. Raised in a tenement, he became fast friends with a neighbor's boy, none other than Bill Butel. The two boys played together and shared together, never dreaming they would one day work together as adults. Though they did work together as children, and even then they chose their first love, the news business. Now, growing up was not easy on the Lower East Side, when Bill took the advice of Father Pat, the parish priest, and left the neighborhood gang, the two split up. Never, they thought, to see each other again. Roger, seen in this photo working his way through college, even today, collects bottles. He was known from Red Hook to Hoboken as some snappy dresser. Meanwhile, Bill stayed in the news business, and even as a young boy, wasn't afraid to ask the hard questions of the great and powerful. Bill did try his hand as an actor, he never really succeeded, though, he says, because Hollywood kept casting him in the wrong parts. The new frontier of flight grabbed Roger by the goggles. He became such a famous aviator, to this day, pilots still use his name every time they're on the radio. And then fortune struck. A chance meeting at Yankee Stadium brings the two childhood friends together again. They both played outfield for the world champion 1927 Yanks, and as heroes of the day, soon signed a contract with the NBC Blue Network, today ABC. And so on radio began the partnership whose anniversary we salute today. Happy anniversary, Bill and Roger. Happy anniversary. Did you know today is their 10th anniversary? I didn't even know they were married. Oh no, silly, they're just good friends. That's what I heard. On their 10th anniversary, I want to wish them all the luck, and they said it wouldn't last. Congratulations to you both. Well, it's 10 years. I expect to be here for 12 years, so, uh, you know, it's not a bad target. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. I do love them. I'm very pleased to take this opportunity to say something nice about Roger and Bill. Happy anniversary, Bill and Roger. Well, in uh, 10 more years, we'll be able to refer to them as the Sunshine Boys. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we're gonna go through it together. We may not go far, but sure as a star, wherever we are, it's together. This piece is running too, too long. Together, wherever we go. <laughs> well, what do you say? Yeah. Uh, all right.
Don't say the same thing Tex said about his cake. Right. No. Oh, God, oh, my. That's what the table is for there. I'm sorry, all the candles blew out. You would never say it, Roger, but I'll say it's been fun. <laughs> but why does it seem like 20 years? <laughs> Gotcha, Roger. I did. That's I'm right. easy. <laughs> there are two of the candles still burning. You can. Oh, I have them. emphysema. Go ahead, Bill. <laughs> I'll try from here. Yeah. Thank you, and everybody who worked. Uh, I think pretty hard to put that together. I think it's very nice. Maybe you're over. <laughs> I can't add lib, there's nothing on the prompter, you know. And, uh, you have five minutes, fill, you we have five minutes to fill. How you We have five minutes to fill. I think uh, that's right. Could we get a priest here for you to talk to? I think you're supposed to say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for 10 years. Uh, Thank you very much for uh, watching all this time. Hope you continue to do it. I'm Bill Butel. Thank you and good night. You know, know that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really, and we want you to know. Congratulations to Bill Butel and Roger Grimsby on their 10th anniversary. Happy anniversary indeed. Eyewitness News is the New York area's number one news presentation. No other things may change.